In every heart, there's a room waiting to be filled, not with sorrow, not with pain, but with a light so bright it can overshadow the darkest moments we face. Today, we're diving deep into the ancient wisdom of Stoicism, a philosophy that teaches us not just to endure, but to thrive amidst chaos. Stoicism isn't about suppressing emotions. It's about transforming them, fueling our growth and resilience. It offers tools that ancient emperors and modern thinkers alike have used to craft lives of profound meaning and tranquility. So, whether you're navigating the highs of success or the lows of adversity, this video is your guide to maintaining inner peace and unwavering focus. Join me as we uncover the timeless secrets of Stoic philosophy that can help us lead a more fulfilled and purposeful life. Stick around, because today might just change the way you view everything. If you appreciate the insights we're diving into today, do me a simple, free favor. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you don't skip any part of the video, as every moment is packed with value that could be a game changer for you. Let's go. Rule 1. Embrace Silence The first rule to becoming everyone's priority is a profound lesson from Stoicism that teaches us about the power of restraint and the wisdom found in stillness. In a world that's constantly buzzing with noise, where everyone is quick to speak and slow to listen, choosing silence can be revolutionary. It's about learning when to speak and when to let the silence speak for you. Marcus Aurelius emphasized the importance of listening to life. He believed that silence is not just a lack of words, but a path to deeper understanding. By embracing silence, you allow yourself to truly listen, not only to others, but to the world around you, and importantly, to your own inner voice. This deep listening sharpens your perception and enhances your responses to life's complexities. In practical terms, embracing silence means you don't rush to fill every gap with chatter. Instead, you give your words more weight. People begin to pay attention when you do speak because they know your words are considered and meaningful. This selective sharing creates an aura of mystery and depth, attracting others who appreciate the quality of thoughtfulness over quantity of words. Furthermore, embracing silence encourages others to contribute, fostering better relationships built on mutual respect and understanding. It's about giving space, space for others to express themselves and space for relationships to breathe. This approach aligns with the Stoic belief in the harmony of living according to nature, where every element has its place and time. So next time you find yourself in a bustling crowd or a heated conversation, remember the power of silence. It's a tool that can transform your presence in any room, making you a person of influence and calm in a chaotic world. This practice will not only make you more appealing to others, but also provide you with clarity and peace of mind that are priceless in today's fast-paced world. Rule 2. Practice Self-Sufficiency In essence, it's about finding your center and grounding your life on the solid foundation of your own character and virtues, rather than external accolades or validation. The Stoics believed that true independence comes from mastering your desires and emotions, focusing instead on cultivating virtue and wisdom. Epictetus often spoke about the freedom that comes from self-sufficiency. He taught that we shouldn't hinge our happiness on things outside our control. Instead, we should develop an internal fortress so strong that external circumstances cannot disrupt our tranquility. What does self-sufficiency look like in everyday life? It means developing your own resources to enhance your ability to deal with life's ups and downs. This can be as simple as learning new skills that allow you to be more independent, from fixing a leaky faucet to managing your finances wisely. It also means nurturing your mental and emotional health so that you're not constantly dependent on others for guidance or approval. 
by cultivating this type of self-sufficiency, you create a life that is less about consumption and more about contribution. You become a person who adds value wherever you go, not because you seek recognition, but because you have so much inherent value built up within yourself. This shift makes you immensely attractive to others. They start seeing you as a rock, stable and reliable, a true priority in their lives. Moreover, practicing self-sufficiency doesn't mean isolating yourself or rejecting the help of others. Instead, it's about knowing when it's right to stand alone and when it's wise to reach out. This balance is crucial and aligns with the Stoic view that we are part of a larger community and must engage with it wisely. Think about the areas in your life where you can be more self-sufficient. Start small, perhaps with your daily routines, and gradually build up to bigger aspects, like your emotional resilience and decision-making skills. Over time, you'll notice how this independence not only draws others to you, but also gives you a quieter, more confident command over your life, a true mark of a Stoic. Rule 3. Control your perceptions. Our third rule is deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy, teaching us that our power lies not in altering the world around us, but in changing how we see and react to it. Marcus Aurelius famously said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This wisdom is a cornerstone for those looking to become a priority in their own lives and in the lives of others. Controlling your perceptions is about understanding that events themselves hold no emotional content. It's our interpretation of those events that causes our emotional reactions. For instance, if someone cancels a meeting with you, you can choose to interpret it as a slight, or you can see it as a freeing up of your schedule. The situation hasn't changed, but your perception of it has, and that changes everything about how you respond. This stoic principle encourages us to step back and observe our immediate reactions, then choose a response that aligns with our values and goals. It's about being proactive, not reactive. This level of control leads to a life that feels more stable and intentional, and people are naturally drawn to that kind of stability. When you react with poise and purpose, you become someone people want to prioritize because they see the strength and calm you bring to chaotic situations. To start practicing this, focus on minor daily annoyances, traffic jams, long lines, or unexpected delays. Instead of letting frustration take over, use these moments as opportunities to practice controlling your perception. Ask yourself, what else could this mean? Or, how can I use this time effectively? Over time, this practice will deepen into a profound ability to remain balanced and focused, no matter what life throws your way. Remember, by mastering your perceptions, you're not just changing how you see the world, you're changing how the world sees you. You become a beacon of resilience and rationality, a person who adds depth and tranquility to every space they enter. So keep refining your perceptions and watch as the world aligns more closely with your inner vision of peace and priority. Rule 4. Set firm boundaries. The Stoics taught that understanding our own limits and respecting ourselves enough to enforce them is essential to well-being. It's not just about saying no to others, but about saying yes to our own needs, values, and priorities. In practical terms, setting firm boundaries means being clear about what you will and won't accept in both your personal and professional life. This could be deciding not to check emails after a certain hour, choosing not to engage in gossip, or even stepping away from relationships that drain your energy. It's about protecting your mental space and ensuring that you're not overextending yourself. Seneca advised that we trim away the unnecessary and focus on what truly matters. By setting boundaries, you give yourself the space to focus on your own growth, 
peace and priorities. You teach others how to treat you by demonstrating that you value your own time and energy. This respect for self is contagious and compels others to respect and prioritize you in return. For those new to this practice, it can start with small daily affirmations of your limits. Communicate your boundaries clearly and respectfully without apology. When you do this, you're not just building walls, you're setting the foundations for healthier, more sustainable relationships. You're also giving yourself permission to thrive within well-defined limits, which is a powerful form of self-respect. Remember, boundaries aren't barriers to connection, but bridges to healthier, more respectful interactions. When you set boundaries, you invite others into a more honest and transparent relationship. Embrace this practice and watch how it transforms, not only how others perceive you, but how you perceive yourself. You're not being difficult, you're being deliberate in crafting a life that respects your worth, a fundamental lesson from our Stoic guides. Rule 5. Cultivate Inner Contentment Stoicism teaches us that happiness doesn't stem from what we acquire or achieve, but from what we value internally. It's about finding satisfaction not in external rewards, but in our own moral and philosophical development. Inner contentment is about appreciating what you have right now, instead of always reaching for the next thing on the horizon. It involves a shift from dependence on external validation to reliance on your own self-assessment and values. This is not about complacency, it's about recognizing that the source of true joy and satisfaction lies within you. This rule urges you to invest in your personal growth and emotional resilience. Epictetus often emphasized the importance of focusing on what is within our power, our responses, our attitudes, and our principles. By fostering these internal assets, you enhance your ability to remain calm and content, even when external circumstances are challenging. To start cultivating inner contentment, begin by practicing gratitude. Reflect daily on what you are thankful for, not just in terms of material possessions, but also the intangible elements of your life, relationships, experiences, and personal achievements. This habit shifts your focus from what's missing to what's abundant in your life. Additionally, engage in activities that nurture your mind and soul, whether it's reading, meditating, or spending time in nature. Find what enriches you and make it a part of your routine. As you do this, you'll find that your need for external approval diminishes and your self-sufficiency grows. Remember, when you are content within yourself, you radiate a kind of serene confidence that is deeply compelling to others. People are naturally drawn to those who are self-assured and at peace with themselves. By cultivating your inner contentment, you not only enhance your own life, but also become a beacon for others, inspiring them to prioritize and value your presence in their lives. Rule 6. Show Gratitude Our sixth rule deeply intertwines with Stoic teachings, which emphasize the importance of appreciating life as it is and finding joy in the simplest of blessings. Gratitude, according to Stoicism, is not just about being thankful for the good times, but also about recognizing the value and lessons in the challenges. This practice not only enriches your life, but also alters how others perceive and interact with you. In cultivating gratitude, you engage in a profound transformation. You begin to see the world not as a series of obstacles, but as a place of opportunity, each interaction, a gift, every setback, a lesson. This shift in perspective brings a lightness and positivity to your life that is infectious, making others naturally drawn to your presence. To practice gratitude on a daily basis, start with simple acknowledgements. Each morning or evening, reflect on three things you are grateful for. These don't have to be grand. 
They can be as simple as a sunny day, a delicious meal, or a productive work session. The key is consistency. This daily practice cultivates a habit of seeing the good in your life, which in turn reshapes how you interact with the world around you. Another way to deepen your gratitude is to express it openly. When someone does something you appreciate, tell them. Not only does this strengthen your relationships, but it also encourages a mutual appreciation and respect that can lead to deeper, more meaningful interactions. Additionally, consider keeping a gratitude journal. Writing down what you're thankful for can make the abstract concrete and help solidify your feelings of appreciation. Stoics like Seneca believed that gratitude was essential for inner peace and contentment. By adopting this practice, you're not only enhancing your well-being, but also setting a foundation for how people relate to you. They'll see someone who values others and their contributions, someone who sees and cherishes the good in the world. This makes you a priority in their lives, as they recognize the positivity and peace you bring into your shared experiences. Rule 7. Keep learning and growing. Stoicism teaches that wisdom and virtue are not static achievements, but ongoing pursuits. This rule is about embracing the journey of personal evolution and recognizing that each day brings new opportunities to enhance our understanding and refine our character. The Stoics believed in the concept of pro-copton, meaning one who makes progress. This is someone who continually seeks to improve themselves through learning and reflection. By adopting this mindset, you position yourself as someone who is always evolving, making you an invaluable presence in any setting, because you are perpetually bringing new insights and perspectives to the table. To incorporate this principle into your daily life, start by setting aside time for intellectual exploration. Whether it's reading a book, listening to a podcast, or taking an online course, make learning a non-negotiable part of your routine. This habit not only enriches your mind, but also equips you with a broader range of tools to tackle challenges and opportunities that come your way. Additionally, embrace the practice of self-reflection. At the end of each day, spend a few minutes considering what you learned and how you can apply this knowledge in the future. Reflect on both your successes and your failures, as Stoicism teaches that there is as much to be gained from our missteps as from our triumphs. Moreover, don't shy away from new experiences that push you out of your comfort zone. Engaging with unfamiliar situations is a powerful way to stimulate personal growth. It's in these moments, when you're tested and perhaps even uncomfortable, that significant learning occurs. Remember, the goal of this continuous learning isn't merely to accumulate knowledge, but to forge a better, wiser version of yourself. This process makes you a person of depth and substance, someone others naturally look up to and want to be around. In maintaining this commitment to growth, you not only enhance your own life, but also enrich the lives of those around you becoming a person they treasure and prioritize. Rule 8. Live according to nature. This doesn't just mean embracing the environment, but also understanding and accepting the flow of life, its rhythms, its cycles, and its inherent wisdom. By doing so, we find a deeper sense of peace and purpose, which in turn makes us more grounded and appealing to others. The Stoics believed that nature provides a blueprint for a life of harmony and virtue. Marcus Aurelius often reminded himself to live in accordance with nature, meaning to act in ways that are consistent with human nature and the broader ecosystem of life. This approach encourages us to embrace simplicity, find joy in the present moment, and cultivate virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. To live according to nature, start by simplifying your life. Reduce the clutter, both physical and mental, that distracts you from what truly matters. 
focus on the essentials, nurturing relationships, pursuing meaningful work, and taking care of your body and mind. This simplicity helps you connect more deeply with the world around you and appreciate the beauty in everyday experiences. Another aspect of living according to nature is accepting things as they are. This doesn't mean resignation, but rather recognizing what is within your control and what is not. Epictetus taught that we should focus on our own actions and attitudes, as these are within our power, and accept external events with equanimity. This acceptance brings a calm resilience that others find both inspiring and comforting. Moreover, spend time in nature. Engage with the natural world through activities like walking, hiking, or simply sitting quietly in a park. Nature has a way of grounding us, reminding us of the larger context of our lives and the interconnectedness of all things. This practice not only enriches your own life, but also creates a serene presence that others are drawn to. Living according to nature also involves recognizing and honoring your own nature. Understand your strengths and weaknesses, your desires and fears, and work with them rather than against them. This self-awareness and acceptance make you authentic and relatable, qualities that naturally elevate you in the eyes of others. By aligning your life with the principles of nature, you cultivate a balanced, harmonious existence that resonates deeply with those around you. You become a person who embodies the tranquility and wisdom that Stoicism champions, making you a priority in the lives of those who seek to share in that peace and understanding. Rule 9. Develop Emotional Resilience This is about building the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties and maintain a balanced perspective even in the face of adversity. This trait not only helps you personally, but also makes you a rock for those around you, someone they can rely on in turbulent times. The Stoics, particularly Epictetus, emphasize the importance of understanding and managing our emotional responses. Epictetus taught that it's not the events themselves that disturb us, but our judgments about them. By controlling our perceptions and responses, we gain the power to remain calm and composed, no matter what life throws at us. This approach allows us to navigate emotional storms without being overwhelmed by them. To develop emotional resilience, start by practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness helps you stay present and aware of your emotions without becoming entangled in them. When you encounter a stressful situation, Take a moment to breathe deeply and observe your feelings without judgment. This pause creates a space for you to choose a measured response rather than reacting impulsively. Another key aspect is reframing your perspective. Stoics like Marcus Aurelius advised viewing challenges as opportunities for growth. When faced with difficulties, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? Or how can this make me stronger? This shift in mindset turns obstacles into stepping stones, building your resilience over time. Additionally, cultivate a support network. Emotional resilience doesn't mean facing everything alone. Surround yourself with people who uplift and support you and don't hesitate to lean on them when needed. Stoicism acknowledges the value of community and mutual support in navigating life's trials. It's also important to take care of your physical health as it's closely linked to emotional well-being. Regular exercise, a balanced diet and adequate sleep can significantly enhance your ability to handle stress. When your body is strong and healthy, your mind is better equipped to maintain resilience. Developing emotional resilience also involves setting realistic expectations and accepting that setbacks are a natural part of life. Seneca reminds us that we suffer more in imagination than in reality. By keeping our expectations grounded and understanding that perfection is unattainable, we reduce unnecessary stress and build a more resilient mindset. Rule 10. Be generous. 
Generosity in the Stoic sense means offering your time, energy, and resources freely without expecting anything in return. This selfless giving reflects the Stoic ideal of living in harmony with others and contributing to the common good. Seneca believed that true wealth is found not in what we possess, but in what we give. He taught that by sharing what we have, we multiply its value. This perspective shifts our focus from accumulation to contribution, fostering a mindset of abundance rather than scarcity. To practice generosity, start with small, everyday actions. It could be as simple as offering a kind word, lending a helping hand, or giving your full attention to someone who needs to talk. These seemingly minor acts can have a significant impact, creating a ripple effect of goodwill and positivity. They demonstrate that you value others, and in turn, you become more valued in their eyes. Another aspect of generosity is sharing your knowledge and skills. Whether it's mentoring a colleague, teaching a friend a new skill, or volunteering your expertise, these acts of sharing not only help others, but also reinforce your own understanding and mastery. This practice aligns with the Stoic belief in continuous learning and growth, as every act of teaching is also an opportunity to deepen your own insights. Generosity also involves being open-hearted and compassionate. This means empathizing with others, understanding their struggles, and offering support without judgment. Marcus Aurelius reminded us that we are all part of a larger community, and by helping others we help ourselves. This interconnectedness is a core Stoic concept, emphasizing that our well-being is tied to the well-being of those around us. Moreover, being generous with forgiveness is crucial. Holding on to grudges and resentment harms us more than those we resent. By choosing to forgive, we free ourselves from the burden of negative emotions and foster a more harmonious and positive environment. Remember, true generosity is not about grand gestures or material wealth. It's about the spirit in which we give. A small act of kindness done with a big heart can be more impactful than the grandest of gestures. By cultivating a generous spirit, you enhance your own life and become a beacon of positivity and support for others. As we wrap up today's journey into the timeless wisdom of Stoicism, remember this. The power to transform your life lies within you. By embracing these principles, you are not just becoming a priority in others' lives, you are reclaiming your rightful place as the hero of your own story. Thank you for being a part of Stoic Journal. If you found value in our discussion, please check out one of the suggested videos on your screen for more insights. Keep growing, keep striving, and remember, your strength is your story. See you in the next video.